Hey there friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Liz, my company is Hello from Liz Matthews, and this is Floss Tube episode number 83. It is January 19th, and I am excited to spend some time with you today. I've got some whips. I've got a fun announcement about a sow I'm going to host. Ah! And um, a lot of acquisitions. Get ready for a lot of things I've been buying. Hope you don't mind. I do love um, enabling, encouraging, and inspiring here. So it has been about two weeks since my last video, uh, just shy of two weeks. It has been a crazy two weeks. There, there has been a lot that's gone on. We've had snow. We've had our first roof leak in a monsoon that required climbing on the roof. Then we repaired that. We spent a day in DC. Um, I've been to the doctors. I am feeling so much better. I am wrapping up my two weeks of Zyrtec Benadryl mix that I told you about. When I filmed my last video, um, I was telling you I had swollen eyes and I think I'm to the end of it. I'm on a medication that causes eczema and psoriasis. I can't be off that medication. And um, you'll often see it, I have it on my hands and it has spread to my eyes. So I spent a good week looking every morning as if, as if I had spent the entire night crying. My eyes were so puffy and fluid filled around that I could like see my face as I looked out. You know when you have something on your eyelash or your nose and you just see it? awful but I think I'm on the mend now knock wood so I am excited to be back chatting with you I hate when I miss a week so much um but here I am and I'm, I'm looking forward to catching up I have been head down full steam ahead on market releases Nashville needlework market happens the first week of March which is so soon. So I have been working really hard on that. Also doing a lot of stuff in the membership that I will chat with you about. But in my like, woe is me, the roof is leaking. <laughs> we have snow outside. I can't see. In all of that, I did a little purchasing. Please tell me I'm not the only one who's like, oh, bad day, add to cart. So irresponsible, but um, it brings me so much joy. So I've done that and I have a little bit of that to share with you. Chances are some will be trickling in to next week as well. But anyway, happy Friday. I hope that you have been well, that you've been stitching. And I look forward to sharing these things with you today. I have a bit of hello from Liz Matthews news in addition to getting ready for market, um, I am also having a sale in my Etsy shop right now. Now, it does not include my new and upcoming releases, but it does include everything that I have released up until this point. We are celebrating my four year business anniversary with a sale. So you can head there with, uh, to get 20% off. Um, you can head to my shop, which is linked in the description box of this video. Um, along with all of my contact information, anything you might need to know about the membership, ways to reach me, anything I mention in this video, I will link below so you don't need to take notes, you can keep on stitching, and if something strikes your fancy, you can drop that box down and get the information below. I do feel like I have like a bit of a coffee buzz happening right now. So I kind of like when that happens because I, I get to be extra chatty with you and I just appreciate your company so much. So be prepared for that. That sale is ongoing. I am also um, taking you a bit behind the scenes in the Nashville Needlework Market Prep within the Hello from Liz Matthews membership. I plan on doing some videos where I just sit down and chat and like just stream of consciousness talk about all of the things that are on my plate and that I need to do in order to get things together for market. So if you want more behind the scenes market stuff, maybe consider joining the Hello from Liz Matthews membership. I did this week release a new membership exclusive pattern collection in the membership. It is a set of three patterns. It's not just one. You get 
three and it is called love blooms let me get them together here and while they are similar looking they are all different and have a different theme they all have a very beautiful morning glory border however one is purely decorative and then it just has these bows that surround a basket full of love which i think is so cute and i cannot wait to stitch on its own that big purple house in the center but one design option has the sentiment a sweet friendship refreshes the soul so if you are looking for kind of a sweet valentine's esque design that is not romantic in nature this might be the pattern for you i also did do a romantic option also has the house the morning glory border and the phrase my heart is and always will be yours these are jane austen quotes so if you like that you might want to consider joining pattern stashers or all access membership it's there for you right now through February 15th. I wanted to make sure the design was kind of Valentine's Day in nature because my exclusive designs run from the 15th to the 15th of every month. I also have announced that this is the re the new review and giveaway item in the membership. It is a Smart Glow Daylight like travel portable light. I'm giving you my honest thoughts and feedbacks through a series of videos and you can check it out there now. Okay, I think that's all I needed to cover as far as like hello from Liz Matthews business and membership news. I now have um, some whips to share with you. Wow, this is gonna be a little, little bit of a quick video I'd say. If I keep up this pace, I will have you out of here in no time. So I have two whips. One is a hello from Liz Matthews design because as I said, it is head down, market, market, market. I am not somebody who's ahead of the game when it comes to market design. I forever seem to be the person who is last minute, but I really feel like I thrive in those situations. Not that it's good for my sanity, but I do thrive. So I have got one hello from Liz Matthews whip maybe you have an idea what it is if you are familiar with this days of christmas tiger lily keeper that i have here and i found myself one day in the middle of designs i have finished stitching cottontail which i shared with you in the last video it's that sweet little um rabbit design that i was working on did i say that it was a rabbit then i think it was a full rabbit shape i don't think i'm spoiling anything right now uh, but i finished that so i can't share that with you it is um in line to have a frame made right now and when I finished that, I had not finished designing the 10th day of Christmas. Okay, spoiler, this is the 10th day of Christmas. So for one night, back up. I had started designing the 10th day of Christmas, but I hadn't put like the final polish, the finishing touches. There is a feeling you get where you're like, okay, I've double checked everything. I like this line. I like this. Everything's good. Now we stitch when you get to that point designing. And I hadn't quite gotten there, I was very close, but I very happily for one night found myself without a hello from Liz Matthews model to work on. So I grabbed something that had been neglected for far too long and I put some stitches on an old whip. This is a House of Stitch and Stash bag and in it I have my dad's stocking. So we chatted about this in my 2023 whip parade but i am working on this stocking for my dad it is an, an old 1990 cross stitch and country craft stocking um with like a santa's wood shop theme i picked this magazine up at stitch con this year and fell in love with that stocking and i started stitching it for my dad and i haven't pulled it out in quite a while but i figured with one night only i could put a few stitches in and make some headway so let me get this all set up i'll show you what i've done which is really not much oh that's my needle <laughs> um but here we are this is the toe of the stocking the foot of the stocking and it goes up from here i spent my one evening going back and like 
catching missing stitches that were that were left down here things I hadn't quite finished because this is the page break for the PDF copy of this pattern that I have although it was originally printed in that catalog it's also available in PDF form from cooler design studio it's linked below and their natural page break for this like I want to say it's like 10 page chart is fabulous is here so rather than like continuing to work up with just a limited amount of time I thought I would perfect what was down here like the pigs I added a giraffe I started some of the half stitch background stitching that's happening um but I still love where this is going very happy to have made progress on it and for those of you who don't know, I am planning on stitching a stocking for um, some very special people in my life, not to gift them, but to keep here at my house and to think of them in the holiday season and just, you know, remember them and think of them and think of all of the happy times we've had together. So this is my very first stocking. This is the piece that truly opened the door for like pleasure stitching for myself and also sent me down a kind of like cross stitch patterns of bygone era. What am I trying to say? Cross stitch patterns of your, why do I want to say that? That's not right. Like some might say they're a little dated. I happen to love them, but I'm talking like dimensions kits, full coverage kits. I love them. And this is the piece that started it all. So I was happy to have a little bit of time to work on this. I am stitching this on 32 count fabric, which is a smaller count than recommended. And I'm using two strands of DMC thread, really, really fun. I keep all of my thread in this custom Tiger Lily design keeper. This is not something she sells or offers. She made this just for me. And I absolutely love it because this baby takes like 60 skeins. 60 different DMC colors. So Carrie made this for me when she found out I was stitching that stocking and I love it so much. So I had just a couple hours, maybe like two at the most to work on that, but it was a perfect thing to pull out. I've been thinking of dad a lot lately and um, I might get to see him this weekend. I hope so. He's gonna be traveling through town and I hope he spends one night here. But I was um, happy to pull this out. That's one of my whips. The second whip, dun, 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 and then for talking sales, is in here, and it is the 10th day of Christmas. Now, if you are familiar with my Days of Christmas series, you will know that each of the Days of Christmas for the song um, on the first day of Christmas, My True Love Gave to Me, I do a sampler and a tree version of, and I have worked my way through the first nine days of Christmas. I am on the 10th day of Christmas. 10th day of Christmas is Lord the Leaping. Difficult. I, um, I did come up with something. I'm very excited about it and I can't wait to share it with you. I have started stitching the sampler and because I am at a very beginning point, I am going to share it with you. This will likely be the very last time that you see this because I'm a pretty quick stitcher. I think I should have this done by the weekend. I say that, I hope I'm not jinxing it. So you know, <laughs> I will get this done this week. Um, and you probably won't see it again. But for now, this is where I am. I'm not going to tell you much about it. It is the 10th day of Christmas, a continuation in the series. This is a sampler version. And I have also designed the tree version already. I will give you one quick spoiler. It's going to be on this fabric. Yes, this gorgeous, gorgeous fabric. I have had this for quite a while, but it is a new and upcoming release at market from Fiber on a Whim. And I couldn't say anything about it because 
uh, Kristen of Fiber on a Whim hadn't announced it yet. She has since. And this color is Sapphire by Fiber on a Whim. Obsessed is an understatement. I think this is so gorgeous and I want to put absolutely everything on it. If you are interested, contact your LNS, your LNS, tell them to order some up. It's so good. You are going to want it. If you watch Bridgen, the museum stitcher, who I highly recommend you do watch, she has a floss tube channel. She has been stitching a model for me on market on this fabric. She's shown her progress and it's actually, she's done. It's in the mail on its way to me today. I think I get it tomorrow, but seeing her piece come alive on this fabric has been so much fun. It's stunning. If I do say so myself, you might want to go over and take a peek if you're curious for another market sneak peek from Hello from Liz Matthews. So pretty and it's on this. Um, I'm also happy to announce announce to share um, that Bridget is going to be joining me at market this year helping in my room. I can't wait to hang out with her. We have met once before at StitchCon last year. She is fantastic, so talented. Um, I really, really like connected with her and liked her. So she is going to be joining me at market along with Liz of Elizabeth and Can Stitch in my room and we are going to have a great time. So anyway, Go check out her video if you want to see another market release that's coming on this fabric, but the tree is going on this. This is not the tree. This is no spoiler. Do you remember when um, I was telling you about my most frogged thing from 2023? We're doing superlatives of the year and I mentioned messing something up on the... Um, Santa's night tree or to all the good night. I forget which one it was. And I, I thought I frogged this, but no, I just started over apparently, but I'm so happy I did because it means that I still have this beautiful fabric, um, and cut of linen for me to put the 10th day of Christmas tree on. Okay. That was a lot of chit chat for something I can't even show you yet, but I am really excited about it. So at this point, my job, along with figuring out all of the details for market, is truly model stitching. That has to happen. So I will be doing a lot of that over the next couple days, but that is one whip and some plans for you. All right. Are you ready to hear about this Sal idea I have come up with and invite you to join? By the way, I am curious. You guys always help me out so much with your thoughts and ideas and input. I love asking for your help. I'm curious about a Sal that I'm about to announce in my membership. And I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna run it yet. But if you had your druthers, if, if you could voice your opinion, your wildest dreams, how you would love to see a sal run for a very um, large piece, an ongoing sal, would you tell me in the notes below? Like if you're, if you have ever thought, why doesn't anybody do something like that? I would love to see a sal run that way. Will you tell me below? I wanna get all my ducks in a row and get everything finalized for that membership sal. Um, so I would just love your thoughts. Thank you. Okay, this is a non-membership sal. This is a simpler sal. This is a low key sal that you are invited to join. And I very much hope you do. If you've been watching for a while, you know that um, I love cross stitch kits, specifically dimensions kits. They bring me an immense amount of joy and have really reignited my cross stitch fire and passion. And when you find something like that, you can't help but want all your people to do and feel the same thing. So with that in mind, I have decided to host a sal for a Dimensions Gold Collection Petite Design manageable. I promise that I hope you consider joining because truly I just want you to feel as happy as I do when it comes to stitching these kits. So this is a small and manageable pattern. 
I have absolutely no idea how long this style will last, but what I plan on doing is every two weeks, I do a video every week if all things go according to plan, but every two weeks, so every other video, I will chat about this style and kind of tell you where I'm moving in my stitching. And to give you some idea, let me show you this up close and then I'll tell you what I'm thinking. This is the design I chose. It is called Coffee Shop. It's a dimension gold petite design. It is on 18 count fabric and it's six by six inches. It's small. It is not one of those big ones that I have been hoarding and loving. Manageable. I like that this is still winter themed, which is just the key to my heart. And um, it's winter theme, but it's not necessarily Christmas. It's just winter. It says fine teas, coffee, food. You know how I feel about coffee. So I want to stitch this and then put it in my kitchen, maybe near the coffee maker. Um, and I just think it's so darn sweet. But as far as how much I plan on stitching every two weeks, which is why I will share with you in the video. And then if you want to follow along, um, you can do so like picture me saying we're gonna do the windows in the door like not much at all we're gonna do this portion of the door it's not gonna be like i'm dividing this in four go because this is intense stitching let's be real like it takes a lot of work so maybe one two week span will say i'm gonna stitch fine teas coffee food words that's it like it's not gonna be a lot. I promise it won't be overwhelming. And should you start stitching this and like me, you're like, oh my gosh, I am in love. Have at, go forward, stitch it all in one sitting. Wouldn't that be amazing? And start stashing more Dimensions kits, please. But I guess more than a sal necessarily, this is gonna be like a stitch together, but I will be sharing with you the pace that I'm going and invite you to work alongside me. Please, 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 if you plan on joining, share your progress with me. Basically, I just want to share this joy with everybody. Now, if you would like to join, I am going to start in two weeks. That gives you two weeks to get your hands on this pattern. I purchased mine from Amazon. I know that they are getting low in stock, but I've been watching it and they constantly restock. You can also get this on one, two, three stitch. Both are linked below with one click. You can go and get yours and just hang on to it for two weeks. I should have noted the date. It's going to be the the first part of February, shoot. Um, I should have noted the date, but in two weeks from this video, I'll be back and we will start this together. I do plan on doing an unboxing video of this, which will go up um, in the next couple days, just so you can like see what you're diving into, what's in this box and what you should do to be prepared for stitching. But please, please, please consider joining me. I absolutely love these pieces and I want you to as well. So this is going to live in my Como Stitches project bag. I got this um, within the last two weeks and there we go. So I will catch up with you on that in two weeks and you can look for that dedicated video within the next couple days. Okay, you're invited. I now have all of the purchases that I <laughs> emotion all the purchases I emotionally made over the last little bit. First of all, I did get my book of days. I mentioned wanting to track my stitching and um, more than just my stitching, I put in here design work I've done, membership things I've done. I just wanted to track my stitching life in this book. So I ordered mine up from 123 Stitch. They're available there. If you also want to track, I haven't added a sticker yet, which is kind of rare for me. Uh, you know, in the past, over the past two years, I've really like embellished a lot and I just haven't had the time to do it. But I hate not having any record of what I've been stitching on or working on. So I have that. Consider getting one for yourself. Now, this sweet little book, 
couldn't travel alone, absolutely not. So it came with another Dimensions kit. I've had my eye on this bad boy for a while. Guess what? It's winter themed. It's a snowy scene, which you know I love. So I picked up Winter's Hush from um, 123 Stitch as well. No idea when I will get to this, but I am fully embracing the stashing and the hoarding and the collecting of the kits as well. So this baby is now part of my collection. So cute. Like, don't you just want to live there? I really do. So sweet. I just had to have it. And then speaking of dimensions, oh, um, there was a day I was feeling really not so great. And, um, I saw something pop up on eBay. These are discontinued. They're not in print anymore, let's say. And I've never seen a full collection of these. I've seen one or two here and there, but they are Dimensions Gold Collection Petite Ornaments. There is a series of five of them. I've seen people stitch them. I've seen people share them in their hauls, in their uh, kit parades, in their whip parades, their finishes, and I've loved them. And when I saw the full set of five available as one, I bought it. So they have arrived. I am not sure when I will stitch them. They are all full kits. And there are five, all with a bird and um, like, Christmas sentiments surrounding it. I am completely blanking on the floss tuber who just recently shared her finish of one of these that I think it was this one maybe. It made me give these ornaments a second glance. I had seen them. They're on eBay quite often. And I thought, oh, they're cute, but like, no, I've got, I've got plenty to stitch. But then I saw a piece finished on floss tube and I will find the video and link it below because that changed everything. And it is why I bought the full set. So these will have to go somewhere special until I have a chance to stitch them, but aren't they so sweet? You can definitely get these on the secondhand market. They're pretty darn adorable. Like, look at this postage mark. That, that seal. I love that so much. So, I, yeah, I got those. I'm very happy I got those. It doesn't stop. Um, this is the very last thing I have to share with you. This is a book that I purchased on eBay from Amazon Japan. It took quite a while to get here. I got it maybe two days ago, and I think I placed the order before Christmas. I knew it would take a while, no problem. But this is one of those books that are similar to the series by Mango Press. They're usually hardcover. I guess the Japanese print version is, is not, um, but it's by Veronique Eugenier. And this is harder for me to translate, admittedly, but it's my understanding they are all like buildings in France. So this book, I have not gotten to look through it in depth yet, but how interesting. Again, I don't speak Japanese, um, but if you are able to read a cross stitch pattern, I think that translates to any language. Look at those pictures. I can't wait to get into this. I have no idea when that will be, but like it's a French candy shop. So sweet. There is one in here, patisserie. There's one in here, the boulangerie, which is where you get fresh baked breads that I am dying over. Look at that. So I want to say this was just a little over $30, I think. Um, which is always hard to spend because you can't see the inside of the book very well. Uh, but I am so glad I bought it. It takes some time to get here, but it's just another one of those in the series. And I still, still plan on doing a flip through with you. I will try to bump that up in my filming schedule, but there are, there's a lot in here and it's so darn cute. Okay. I will 
I will let you go with that. That's a good book. Okay. So I think I've talked your ear off enough. I really, really appreciate you spending some time with me today. I will be back in a week. Please, please, please let me know if you plan on joining the Sal. I know that hashtags on Instagram aren't working so well anymore, but what the heck, let's throw out the hashtag hello dimensions Sal. Hello for hello from Liz Matthews dimensions and Sal. And you are welcome to join. I, I so much hope you do join. Good luck finding your chart. And um, I will be back in another week to catch up with you. I hope that you have a great uh, January, end of January week. Okay. Wrap it up, Liz. Okay. Bye.